Hi, I'm Paul Dietz with the Applied Sciences Group here at Microsoft, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our work in high performance touch. So currently, touch systems have about 100 milliseconds of delay between when you touch and when the image actually changes. Well, if you're moving a finger at about 100, uh, one meter per second, that means that the image is going to be 100 milliseconds behind or about 10 centimeters behind. That's really obvious. And so this analogy that you're trying to draw of moving a real physical object really breaks down because the object is following so far behind. So we built a test system in order to understand how much better the experience would be as we decrease that latency. We used our test setup to examine different latencies. So here you can see that this is about 100 milliseconds of latency. We're not moving at a full meter per second, but the delay is still very clear. Now, uh, that's about the level of current devices. If we move this down to 50 milliseconds, that's significantly better than most devices on the market, but it's still quite a bit of lag, even at these slow speeds. Now, if we move that down yet again to 10 milliseconds, you can see it's dramatically better. And in each of these steps, the user preference is very clear that it just gets better and better. But if you look closely, you can see it's not really staying on the finger. It's kind of rubber banding around it. So if we move all the way down to one millisecond, then you can see now it's really staying on the finger. And in fact, if you were playing with the real setup, you would notice a real perceptual cliff that this really starts to feel like a real physical object. If you take a look at a current tablet, you can see the performance, as I said, is about 100 milliseconds. And this is most noticeable if you draw like a squiggly line on it. And you can see in this example that in fact, um, the line that is being traced out the ink is about a half cycle behind. Now, if you use our device and you take that down to about a millisecond of latency, then of course that effect goes away. And it's almost like finger painting, that it feels like the ink is coming from the tip of your finger. And it's perceptually very, very different. Just to give you some better idea of what's going on here, we shot some high-speed footage. So this is slowed down by a factor of eight. So you can see the difference here, but at one millisecond of latency, you're right on it. And again, it appears quite noticeable when you are doing squiggly lines, then you can tell how, just how far behind you are. Uh, and of course, if you go down to one millisecond, then it feels like you're right on top of it. So what we've seen is that the current levels of latency around 100 millisecond really could be improved and noticeably improved for about two orders of magnitude. And so what we've done with this research is set something of a bar for where we'd like to head over the next decade. So we'd like to see systems decrease their latency down to the one millisecond level. And then you start to actually have things that feel like you're moving a real physical object. Thank you.